and welcome to episode two of Warm Up for Skaters. So for this class, we are going to be focusing on the hips. They do so much work for us when we are squatting on our boards the entire time that we are skating, getting all nice and tight. Anytime that we are doing this repetitive movements, it's going to cause um, the body to kind of seize up. So we're going to counteract that through some stretches. So to begin, come lying down on your back. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. Let the knees fall out wide. Place one hand on your stomach and one hand on your heart. Close your eyes. And bring your attention inwards. Feel your breath. Move your hand up and down. Notice your heartbeat. Start to take note of any tension that you feel in the body. Supta Vajrasana is a gentle hip opener, so your hips might be the only things talking to you right now, and that is normal. Just breathe and let the mind relax. On your next inhale, hug your knees into your chest. Extend your left leg long on your mat. Hug your right knee up into your right armpit. Squeeze. Then place your left hand onto your left hip. Reach for the outer edge of your right foot with your right hand. Flex over with your feet nice and strong. Really ground that left hip down as you gently pull your right knee towards the floor. This is called half half knee. Exhale, release your right foot, extend your leg long, hug your left knee in, pull it up into the left armpit, and make it squeeze. Then place your right hand onto your right hip, reach your left hand to the outer edge of your left foot, and gently guide your left knee towards your right. Ground down that right hip, and breathe. Flex your right foot nice and strong. Then exhale, release your left foot. Extend your legs long. Hug both knees into your chest. And start to walk through the knees in a circle. Massaging the low back. And releasing the hips. Then pull your knees into your chest. Reach between your legs for the outer edges of your feet for the full happy baby expression. And you can rock from side to side here and massage the low back. You can play with maybe straightening one leg, maybe both. Exhale, release, hug your knees into your chest. Start to rock back and forth along the spine until you reach a comfortable seat. Bring your soles of your feet to touch. Bring the thumbs to the inner arches of the feet and open your feet up like a book. Place your elbows onto your thighs and start to fold forward. Try to keep the back straight here rather than letting the shoulders and chest call, uh, hollow out. Really fold forward with a flat back. Keep the ears the shoulders away from the ears and breathe. Exhale, release your legs. Extend your legs out long in front of you. Tuck your left foot into your right inner thigh. Flex your right foot nice and strong. Inhale your arms up overhead. Square off to your extended leg and fold forward. Reach for the outer edges of your foot. Let the neck release. And allow every inhale to lengthen your spine. Every exhale pulls you a little closer to your leg. Inhale, slowly roll back up to sit and switch sides. 
Extend your left leg long, tuck your right foot into your left inner thigh. Flex your left foot nice and strong. Inhale your arms up overhead. Square off to your extended leg and hold forward. Let the neck release. Pull your right shoulder down. Allow every inhale to lengthen. Every exhale pulls you a little closer. Inhale, slowly roll back up to sit. Cross your legs and bring your right foot over your right knee for double pigeon. Now this can be where you sit. There might be tons of sensation happening through your left glute and hip right here. So if this, if your knee is like wet up in your chest and you're feeling sensation here, this is where you can sit. You're going to be holding this pose for 10 breaths. Yes, I did say 10. That's because hip openers work best by holding the poses and allowing the body to release deeper. If you use a little bit more sensation, you can bring your hands down in front of your legs and then maybe even the forearms. You can use your upper body to help press your legs closer together, closing that gap between the left knee and the right foot. You can let the neck release and breathe. And make sure that you are flexing your feet here. That is extremely key. This will help protect your knees. Focus on your breath and try to make your exhales twice as long as your inhales. This is a really great way to let keep the mind from wandering to all of the lovely sensations happening in your hips right now. Don't worry, I promise they will end. Just breathe. We've got about four more breaths. Last breath, deepest inhale so far. Exhale, open the mouth, let it go. Walk the hands back up if you lower them. Release your legs, shake it out, and let it go. Two legs means two sides. So cross your right foot over your left knee, bend your left leg. Try to bring the legs parallel on top of one another. Flex those feet. You might stay here, or you might start to walk the hands forward, maybe lowering down to the forearms. Release your head. Let it hang heavy and breathe. We will be here for another 10 breaths. Now, if you are anything like me, your butt is screaming at you right now. Try to release any tension in the body where there doesn't need to be tension. When we are feeling an intense sensation, we tend to clench other parts of the body that do not need to be activated at all. So this can often manifest itself in the face, whether you're like furrowing your brow or clenching your jaw. Try to let those things go. Let the shoulders move down the back, away from the ears. That is another favorite of people. So to shrug the shoulders up, Try to let that go and let the body release into the hip opener. You've got about three more breaths. Last breath, deepest breath yet. Open the mouth and let it go. Release the legs and shake them out. Inhale, your arms up overhead. Flex your feet nice and strong. Exhale, fold forward with the flat back. Inhale, slowly roll back up to sit. Cross your legs. Bring your hands to your heart as we conclude this hip opening session.
Don't worry, I will be coming out with lots more hip opening sequences because there are so many great poses that you can do to open up the hips and variety is key. But anytime that you're feeling like you need to give those hips some love, just play this video back. Focus on your breath, focus on your alignment, and I hope to see you again soon. As always, please leave your